Hello everybody, this is Dream Gaming here to kick off the Jurassic Tussle Tournament with the first four matches. So, in this session, we are going to see Metriocanvasaurus versus Kentrosaurus, Allosaurus going up against Kralophosaurus, Stegosaurus taking on the Creosaurus, and then Apatosaurus going up against Ceratosaurus. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup of this tournament. Right, in the red corner, we have the Met, the Metriocanvasaurus, the Bumblebee itself, the local hero. Not much else to say about it, to be honest. It's a guy. So, um, yeah, for those of you that are new to these kind of tournaments, moves will be randomly generated with this sexy-ass random number generator. One and four will represent rock. Two and five will represent paper. And three and six will represent scissors. I know some other people will have the paper and the scissors reversed, but I do things my way. Anyway, in the blue corner, as you saw there, we have the Tan... No, not the Tasmanian Devil, the uh, Tanzanian little spiked guy, the Kendrosaurus. Anyway, let's generate some moves. Ooh, we got a rock. And a scissor, so it's Metriocanthosaurus getting off the first pit. And it's the skydiving. <laughs> There's the Quetz. Woof, whoosh. <laughs> oh, I've... The Quetz animations in Dominion, of, in, in, not in Dominion, in um, the uh, Evolution 2. Very interesting to say the least. And honestly, the thing is bloody huge. Like, I know it was big, but like, you really get a scale on how big it actually was. Although I will say maybe Evolution 2 over-exaggerates it a tiny bit. And yeah, the fact that it could Hit unpack. Like, it, it, it would not do that. I'm sorry, it would not do that. Like, it's, it may be a big bird, but it's fragile. It's glass. It's like, it's so fragile. Like, I know people are, well, it could take, no, no. It would not even attempt to, hell, even a freaking little raptor thing could probably kill it. Ugh. That's Jurassic World feel. The inaccuracies never cease to amaze me. Anyway, back to this match. And it's the Kentrosaurus getting off a mole attack. Um, yes, this is the best out of three, so... Yeah, it's the best out of three. I <laughs> forgot to mention that. And it's not looking good for Metrogamosaurus, and there's a 1-0 lead for the Kentra. So yes, Kentrosaurus will take a 1-0 lead, but it's still not over yet for the Met. He still has a chance to come back when we move on to round two. So yeah, good win there for Kentrosaurus. Well played, but let's not count Metricanthosaurus out yet. It can still turn it around. So let's find out if he will turn it around in round two. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Okay, we can skip these since we know who's fighting who. Can the Kentrosaurus finish off the job or will Metricanthosaurus even the score? Again, this is an even match. It's, it, they're evenly matched. So, yeah, this is going to be really exciting to see which one of these can pull it pull through. And we start with a tie. Oh, another tie. <laughs> will we get three ties? Indeed, we will. Ooh, there's the blunder effect from the Metric Amphosaurus there. And it's Kentrosaurus landing the first blow. And it's a crit. Boosh. Slippy slippy shop, but as the Dally Rush comes in there. Metriocanthosaurus on the brink of elimination. Okay, can he turn this around? Oh, he gets ahead. Metriocanthosaurus not done yet. Going off a blazing spin attack. Whee! Yeeting the, yeeting the Kentrosaurus away. Wait, wait, has Metric Ampersaurus turned this around? He gets a Flare Sword off. Ah, oh, he didn't get a Flare Sword. <laughs> Poor thing. But all he needs is a tie and he will level things up. Oh, no! Oh, the Kentrosaurus did it. 
Metriacanthosaurus put up a good fight there, put up a good fight, almost pulled it back, but the Kentrosaurus gets off a cheap mole attack to win the match. And an even cheaper galley brush. Oh, damn it. Kentrosaurus just proving too strong for the Met. And he takes his place in the last 16 round. I'm a good win there, good way to start the tournament. Even though it was a 2-0 win, it didn't feel like a one-sided match. The Metricamphosaurus did get off hits, but it just didn't do enough. Right, let's move on to our next matchup now. Right, in the red corner, in the Alpha Arena, we have an Allosaurus. The regular OG Allosaurus office. Can this, can this Jurassic Classic... Ooh, I like that. Can this Jurassic Classic do well in this tournament? Well, he's... He's in for a tough match because in the blue corner, we have a Crowlophosaurus. Probably one of the favourites, I would say. Behind Brontokins, I would, I would say as well, because Brontokins is a beast. But this Crowlophosaurus is not to be trifled with. Can the Allosaurus pull this off? It's going to be tough, but I, I feel like the Allosaurus can do it. Not with a start like that. Crowl off so getting the first hit there. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oop, that's a tie. No, ties. Oh, look at that. Ties definitely favour the Allosaurus. He did massive amounts of damage to the cryo. And he's got the Sonic Black. Look at that, he's taking the lead. Oh, well, nope, the cryo's taking it back. <laughs> But wow, look at that from Allosaurus. Taking the cryo down to half HP with nothing but ties. Oh no, is it gonna... Oh, it didn't survive. In fairness to it, it took the cryo's HP to the, down to the red without getting an actual hit, so... Give Allosaurus some props here, but it is Crowlophosaurus that wins round one. Well, let's find out if he does turn it around in round two. Oh, we're on a beach. Ooh, will that suit the Allosaurus here? Warm climate might not be good for the cryo. He likes things on the cool side. <laughs> you know what I like? It's a Crylophosaurus here. That is basically on par in terms of size for Allosaurus with Allosaurus, and yet in Evolution 2, he's like up to, he's like tiny, he's up to this Allo's kneecaps. I forgot to put the random number generator on. <laughs> Alright, I'll start, stop talking now. But yeah, <laughs> the cryo is so tiny in Evolution 2. Well, this cryo, however, is off to a good start there, getting a crit. Oh, another tie. No Sonic Blast again. Oh, the tie recovery effect there. We didn't see that at all in round one. Oh, another tie. No Sonic Blast. But look at that from ties. The Allosaurus is actually in the lead. Not by much. Oh, well, no. He was in the lead. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> oh, poor Allosaurus. Oh, the Allosaurus just did not get a hit. I don't even think he got a hit. Just did all tie damage. Oh, bless it. Well, um, that kind of sucked for the Allosaurus. The Crowlophosaurus making quick work. And books his place in the last 16 round, where it will face the Kentrosaurus. Right, on to our third match of this session. Right, the O then, in the red corner. My pick to win this tournament is the Stegosaurus. I say it's my pick, watch it lose straight away now. <laughs> but no, Stegosaurus is going to be one to watch in this tournament. A Jurassic classic like the Allosaurus. It could be interesting though, because in the blue corner, not to be underestimated, is the Decreosaurus. And it's the attack type variant as well, so... It'll have a decent amount of punch to it. I'm looking forward to this match as I am to all of them. Speaking of matches, 
So I'm sure some of you may know already, but there was this Japanese YouTuber who did a tournament, which is basically a carbon copy of mine. And I entered that tournament, and it is my match today. And I have the tiltiest of the tiltiest team ever, so if I win, it's going to be absolutely amazing to watch my team of weaklings win. <laughs> my opponent will be begging for mercy when I'm done with them. But anyway, back to this match. And Mr. Kreosaurus getting the first hit. Oh look, we got two purple dudes. A purple patch, perhaps, for one of these? Well, so far, it's a purple patch for the Kreosaurus getting another hit there. Come on, Steg, you can do it. The Steg is crisis type, so, you know, low health kind of suits it. Unless he gets hit. And then he dies. Like that. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Quick as a wink, the Kreosaurus dispatches Stegosaurus for the 1-0 lead. Said not to underestimate this guy. Right. On to round two. Round two. And we're in the magma field. Can the Steg turn this around? Or will it be another 2-0 win in this video? We've had two 2-0 two wins so far. Will it be a third? Yes, yes, go on, get your banter over and done with Sweet and Record, so I can get on with the match. Ooh, we start with a tie. Can the Steg get a hit in this match? Well, so far, no, and that is not good at all, because that is a critical block. So, as per my rules, the Creosaurus will be going scissors next round. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Oh, that's not good for the Steg. That pretty much guarantees that the Steg will not get the next hit. So let's see what he will get, though. Ah, oh, he would have won, bless him. Ah, oh, bless him. I think that's it for the Steg. Or not. A sw Remember, one. this Steg is crisis time, so one spike arrows can change everything. Oh, he gets a hit. A light recovery. Okay. Stegosaur is not done yet. Well, that was meh, wasn't it? Oh, that's a tie. He went for the spike arrows. Didn't get it. God, Steg. Oh, no, he's done. <laughs> the Kreosaurus, quite convincingly, winning 2-0. I said at the start, it was not to be underestimated. And I think the Steg underestimated it. Ah, oh, poor Stegosaurus. So Stegosaurus and Allosaurus out of the tournament. Right, let's move on to our final match of this session. Right the old then, in the red corner, we've got a Patasaurus. The secret version, of course. I would say another classic from the Jurassic. And another Jurassic classic, we have Ceratosaurus. I don't think Ceratosaurus is going to fare too well, though, against a Patasaurus. Although, a Patasaurus is better built for the long game, so... You'll never know, and with these one versus one matches, they usually end before a Patasaurus' secret moves get triggered, so you never know, maybe Ceratosaurus has a chance. If he can finish it quick, he's got an opening. Ooh, but the Apatosaurus gets the first hit. Good start. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, well, this is going to be quick for the looks of it. Defense first there. Ooh, well, Stratosaurus is not done yet. Finally getting a hit back. And it's a ninja attack. It's like a little rat. Boosh. Boosh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, no secret moves have been triggered, which kind of sucks. But oh well. But as I said, the longer this fight goes on. Ah, oh, there, there it is. Where we see some secret action. Oh, another tie. 
Ties do favour the Apatosaurus. It is tied defence type. And that will be a 1-0 lead for Apatosaurus. Ceratosaurus put up a little bit of a fight, but Apatosaurus proving too strong. But it's not over yet for Serat, but we can still turn it around in round two. Hey, we got the, we got the green toad. <laughs> Remembered the character card this time. And yes, we'll use Rex, because he didn't use Ceratosaurus. Let's not forget that. <laughs> but can he guide Ceratosaurus to victory in this match? Or will the Apatosaurus stomp his way through? Six and a one. Ooh, well, was a good start. It's a crack. I believe it's a stomp in armor. Boosh. Yeah, because that stubby little tail would knock Apatosaurus to the ground. <laughs> oh my god, the damage! I forget. This Ceratosaurus is heroic type, so in theory, that's a good matchup for it. Just from I just remember. Oh well, um, it's even the score. Wow, that was quick. Quick as a wind, they say. Ceratosaurus even in the score. You forget that heroic types have very good matchups against dinosaurs that have crits that, are, that beat their crits. As in, as is the case here. Well, you know what that means. It all comes down to the next round. Right, the old then, round three. The deciding round between these two Jurassic classics. Can Ceratosaurus pull off the upset? Or will Apatosaurus get the job done? I don't know, if Ceratosaurus gets a crit, then I think Ceratosaurus could win this. Because that crit was insanely powerful. Oh, not this time, lad. Not this time. It's a Patrosaurus getting the first hit. Oh, that's right. Ties do favour the Apatosaurus, though, because it obviously has the tie defence. And a crit there. Get coming from Apatosaurus. Defence first activating as well. And that leaves Apatosaurus on the brink of winning. Oh, that's another time. Ooh, we get to see some secret moves. Yep, that's game over for Ceratosaurus. And we are going to see one of Apatosaurus' secret moves for once. Oh, piercing the Ceratosaurus' pancreas and yeeting it away to its death. Well, Apatosaurus had a shaky round two getting demolished. The Ceratosaurus put up a good fight, but Apatosaurus got the job done in the end and advances to the last 16 round. Right, we'll have a look at our matchups and we'll end the session. So here's our first two matchups for the last 16 round when we get there. We got we got Kentrosaurus going up against Kralophosaurus and then the Creosaurus taking on Apatosaurus. And in theory, we could see the, the, the two secret dinosaurs meet in the quarterfinal. So that could be a good match. But there's a long wait to go then. And we got all these buggers to get through first. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell. And stay tuned for next time where we will do these four ma matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.